Hey everyone, this is Demon ATX, and I'm here with Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, and this is the Signature Edition. I'm going to unbox it for you guys. As you can see, I've already opened up parts of it just to see what I got inside. Um, I just got it in the mail a couple minutes ago. So the first thing I got was not really important, but th a thank you note and a return policy. That's not really important. Um, so I pulled this. This was the first box. As you can see, it's pretty big. Pulled that right out. And that is for holding this guy right here. <clears throat> the Prismere Troll model. My, co or my troll is number 115 out of 1600, signed by Todd McFarlane. Okay, so. Shifting it back and forth like that so you guys can see it. It, uh, it came in three separate pieces. As you can see, the club comes off. And the statue itself comes off the base. This was hand-painted. So I think it's pretty nice. <clears throat> Put that all back together for now. Okay, also... Right out of the box, we got the uh, lithogram. Let's see, I think if you were um, one of the lucky twelve to get the exclusive signature edition, you got this copy signed by someone. Uh, mine is not signed, but it is a two sixteen out of three hundred. And we also got the artwork right here, signed by Ken Rolston, and mine is 216 out of 1,000. <clears throat> and then you got this box on the side, which contains all the other extra stuff and the games. So upon opening that, it's really well done inside. You got the dice there on the bottom in a dice case and you have this uh, pull out tab here there's a little illustrated map uh, I guess that is the, the area the game takes place in <clears throat> okay so we're gonna pull this out Bam. Uh, it's the DLC code for the fate touched weapons pack I'm not gonna show you the back because I haven't Put the code in yet. Here's the uh, fake cards. <clears throat> Try not to damage the box here. Okay, I don't know what these are actually used. I guess these are just collectibles. I don't know how they're used in the game, if they are used in the game. Looks like they got them separated into categories like warrior, mage, uh, rogue type deals. I don't know, mage, warriors, rogue, warriors, uh, I don't know, nature, rogues, hell <laughs> I know. So those are pretty cool. Put those back in. You also got the uh, dice bag here with the... Amler signature on it, so that's the dice bag. Get the dice out for you here. These are actually pretty cool. Not enough D6s though. Not enough. These are D6s by the way. I think they could have thrown in a couple more D20s, but that's whatever. We also have the uh, soundtrack, which I haven't even opened yet. Uh, I'm sure the game has great music, and I'll be listening to that in my car. <clears throat> the game itself, standard case, from the minds of R.A. Salvatore, one of my favorite authors. Todd McFarlane, creator of Spawn, I believe. And Ken Ralston, I guess he did artwork, or he's the creative designer or something like that. Uh, take this out of here. It's my online pass. Do I need an online pass? 
Yeah, I guess I need an online pass. There's the game. And no manual. That's not cool. Whatever. And I got bonus Mass Effect 3 items. <laughs> okay, I'll use that when Mass Effect 3 comes out. No, wait. Th Mass Effect 3 themed items for use in Kingdoms of Amalur. Weird. Alright, whatever. And last, we got this really well done map. So the one, this is too big for me to actually show. The one that's inside the box is the miniature one, and here is the Fairlands, that's what it's called. Alright, and that's everything I got in the Signature Edition. It was supposed to originally be uh, one of out of 300. Uh, I'm not sure how many it is out of now. But there's also, um, I also have a second one that I'll be selling on eBay later on this week. Thanks for watching.